Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Fine, thank you. What can I get for you? Um, can I get a, a bean and cheese burrito and a small diet Pepsi, please? Okay. Actually, could you make that three bean and cheese burritos? And does the Cordita, does that have meat on it? You want that meat? Yes, please. That'd be great. Can I just get like two of those gorditas then, please? Anything else? Oh, and an apple pie. Okay. Can I, uh, can I get two of those? How can I help you? Um, two garden salads, please. Okay, anything else in there? Um, two sundaes, please. Okay, what kind of sundae? Um, hot fudge, please. Okay, sure. Anything else? Can I get two large french fries? Sure. Anything else? And what else is good? Oh, how about two orders of the 12 piece cheesy tots? Hi, I'm Lucy. Look, I just, I want everyone to know that up until the day I died, I was a vegetarian. And I was fat. I'm talking two airplane seat fats. Fuck. But I did have five very cool, very pretty friends. Becky, Ray, George, Trevor, and Austin. Now, if in fact you are a fat ass and you would like to stay friends with a group of very pretty people, several rules apply. Number one, always eat in private so your weight will remain a mystery. <clears throat> Number two, always dress in workout clothes so that, <gasps> you know, they'll think you're trying. Number three, be sure to keep them laughing because humor is very thinning. <laughs> and rule number four, and this is the most important one, always answer the phone on the first ring. Because honestly, the fat friend is replaceable. Although a vegetarian, I did have one exception. I could never give up hot dogs. All beef, plump and juicy. I'm a hot dog Sitting in the fog Waiting for my day in the sun and oh, I miss Unfortunately, the hot dogs couldn't sing at my funeral, but I knew who would. It had been a long time since I'd seen her, but if there was anyone who could bring us all back together, it was Becky. Hello, running late. Hello? Hello? Mom, is this you? No, it's Lucy. Lucy who? Hey, Bex. Wait, Lucinda Lucy? Oh my God! How are you? I don't have a lot of oh. time, Becky. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, what's wrong, it's honey? It's over. Can you help me, please? Well, okay. Oh. Okay, can you take a breath? Oh. Lucy, I'm so sorry. No, what is it? Okay, uh, guys, can you please settle down? Open your books to chapter 14. Of course, honey. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, what? Yeah, whatever you need. Okay, just leave it to me. All right. <sighs> okay, the rules of reproduction. Kelsey, get the lights, please. Respect, understand, learn, and when you're ready and you feel it's your time, enjoy sex. <laughs> There's nothing funny up here, people. Come on, Becky, it's Lucy. How sick? Really, really sick. I was gonna ask her how sick she was hysterical. Come on, with her weight, it could be anything. What's wrong with her? She was vague, but real upset. Yeah, naturally. You know, she said there wasn't much time left. That's why she has to get us all together. Hello, ladies. Look, Becky, 
I gotta go. I gotta buy 400 people to Rome in 45 minutes. Ray, she booked a beautiful lodge for us, and we'll all be together again. It'll be great. And it's free. Come on, honey. They got big bugs in Montana. Lucy spent six weeks calling every student on campus until you were elected student body president. I have an election coming up this fall. Not to mention a newborn. Ray Jr., right? Did you get the, uh, the day gown I sent him? You didn't get a thank you now. I was just wondering if it fits. Okay. All right. Look, you know what? Let me talk to Mary. And uh, Ray Jr., thanks you for the pajamas. It's a day gown. Can't we just split a pick-me-up bouquet and be done with it? She's pulled the death card, George. We gotta go. Hey, guys. A friend here won the Grammy. That little trophy picture pussy situation? Sorry about Sheila. Look, I got no complaints. Well, I got a boat on the lake, Trev. Hooking pussies is easy as clubbing seals. Are you coming to Montana or what, man? I don't buy it. Remember a heart attack? That turned out to be a gas bubble? And how about that, uh... Hernia, she claimed she had her junior year. Oh, yeah, until you convinced her that it was prostate cancer. So then George talks her through a rectal exam over the phone. It was terrible. An educated 20 year old woman thought she had a prostate? Well, she was in love. She was blind. How else do you explain it? Ma'am, you cannot have that on board. Hmm? Do we look Arab to you? Give me the puffy paint. I'm gonna expect that back when we land. I'm gonna write a letter. In puffy paint. See how she likes that. Poor Lucy must have spent 30 minutes trying to find that prostate. <laughs> you know, and George had her on speakerphone. You know, so the whole fraternity could listen in. <laughs> you know, it's not funny. Not funny? Brother, did you not hear the story you just told? Please call me Ray, Mary. Sure, Brother Ray. One of those done by the time we land. You know what? Don't you write the damn things yourself. They're your friends. It's your job. My job. Yeah, your job. <clears throat> I mean, giving a little boy a nightgown. It's a day gown. Oh, and she said to wash him cold. It ain't ever leaving the box. Her husband's coming too, right? I've told you that five times already. He bringing his day gown? Okay, don't start with me, Mary. You're so noble to rush to her side like this. Most men I know wouldn't. That's what life's about, right? Mm -hmm. You're single, right? Yeah, I, I am. I'm, I'm single. <laughs> oh, you too? <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Well, let me let the airline buy you another. Play nice with you. Oh, I, know. I thought you pilots flew first class when off duty. Well, we, we do, but the airline was able to sell out at first, so I gave them my seat. We need every penny. Well, as long as there's a coupon in here from the airlines for motels in Missoula. I mean, think about it. We're complete morons in college. Void of the foresight to pick a career, much less lifelong friends. We try to keep in touch, right? That's all such bullshit. And the goddamn Christmas cards. Fucking corny words, the ugly kids in matching outfits. You know, family. Where's your parents? They're dead. They leave you a lot of money? Some. <laughs> so I'm talking about. Pound it out. Oh, Captain. <laughs> Austin. I hate to do this, but Barb is so sick. She's eight weeks and just threw up all over the galley. 
Look, I know you're on vacation, but we're about to start second service. Could you be a doll and pinch hip for Barb? You're a flight attendant? You damn straight he is. Oh my god. I'll take that. Ah, uh, yeah. And how about a pillow, Captain? Oh my God, he came. Be nice. George! Bex! Oh, you look good. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Becky. Halloween's not for like two months. Oh, no. No, this, this represents fall, not Halloween. This is good from, you know, the fall equinox all the way to Thanksgiving Day. Everybody knows that. <laughs> no, they don't. Hey. Oh, my God. Oh, Austin. Hey, Austin, how goes it, man? You got any peanuts there? I'm starving. <laughs> Why don't you uh, go meet Richard? Who? Grandfather Time over there? Just be nice. God, I swear to God, you get better looking every time I see you, and I just keep acquiring baby weight. You're pregnant? No, that's my point. So, uh, Becky tells me you're a commodities trader. Yeah, yeah. I got a natural pork bellies and natural gas futures. Farting pigs, I like to call them. <laughs> Been a hell of a couple years. So, are you traveling alone, or are you with someone special? Yeah, it's just me. Oh, uh, you know what, sweetie? Your person's out there. You're gonna find somebody. I just know it. Well, I'm not worried, so... Oh, God. <laughs> Let me give this... Special person, huh? Let the pronouns begin. You're the principal for uh, Becky's school, right? I'm the principal of the school at which Becky and I are both employed. That's correct. Mm. Look who we found! Congressman Ray Dennis. Hi. My pleasure. I'm Becky's husband, Richard. Ah, Richard. It's, uh, nice Congressman to meet you. Dennis. Shit. Around here we call him Penis Dennis. That's nice, George. I reckon y'all are the friends of Miss Lucy. Causing those you two blacks is how I knew. Don't get me in blacks around here. I'm Sam. I'm with the lodge. Come on, Miss Lucy's got beers waiting on you. Well, what about Trevor? Miss Lucy said I was just getting you four and the two blacks. Now let's get. I can't be driving at night. I I'll be glad to drive for you, Sam. I have acute night vision as well as a valid commercial license. My eyes are fine, Jack Ayers. Plus, ain't got no lights. Come on, let's get a beer and shut up. The youngest black U.S. representative in history. Right. Now you're going for the Senate. I'm proud of you, Ray. Thanks, Thumper. Tell me, why am I still sitting in the back of the bus? Ray, you, you really can't call me Thumper anymore. Oh, my God. Stop the bus! Richard! I plan on paying Richard! off the condo in a year. You should see it, Austin. 23rd floor, 3,500 square foot corner unit. Lake on one side, skyline on the other. Oprah lives in my building. But I'm higher up. I'm doing great, yeah, thanks. Bro. Well, oh, yeah. no, I, I just thought maybe you'd want to know how I was doing. You know how my yeah. job is? If I'm seeing a person? Sure, man, I mean, you know, you're a steward. I know the story. You're still steward, right? Or flight attendant, you know, whichever. Works, but yeah. And my person? No. Oh. I don't know. It's your business. I'm all ears if I have to be. I'm not gay, George.
Watch your step. Thank you. You folks go on around back. I'll get everything inside for you. Must be some kind of Wild West hospice. And this is where she plans to die. I would. This place is pimp. Pimp? Um, it's like spectacular, honey. Why couldn't she just say that? Because English is the forgotten language, my friend. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What's up, shit? Ooh, cheese. <gasps> I bet it's complimentary. Five hours on a bus and all we get is some damn cheese. Hello, welcome to the Holland Lake Lodge. Well, you must be my next ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Please ignore him. <laughs> Can we get into our rooms? Honey, is there a bathroom nearby? You okay? It's me. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, Lucy! <laughs> oh, Lucy? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, look at you! Look at your hair and your body! Oh my god, your breasts! Look at your tits. Look at your breasts! <laughs> oh, well, don't just stand there. Sick at all, are you? I knew she wasn't dying. God um, damn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she was in love with George. That's what Ray said. He said he took her virginity. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Sarah. <thing. laughs> He's here. I knew he'd make it. Motherfucking three had a concert in Miami last night, so he got a late start. Motherfucking three. Go, Trevor. Motherfucking three? Oh, it's a band, honey. Uh, uh, hip hop. You know, Trevor produces them. Remember, he won the Grammy. We don't listen to motherfucking three. <laughs> It took about two years to get all the weight off. That's why my McDonald's stock went south. All right, come on, George. I mean, ice cream futures. Sure. No, it's okay. He can make all the fat jokes he wants to. All of you can. Now I really don't care. How'd you lose it? Burned a hole in those sweat to the oldest tapes, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I had gastric bypass surgery the week before your wedding, which is why I wasn't there. I'm, I'm sorry. No, oh, no worries. You know, there are others at this table that didn't make it to the wedding either. I was with her, Ray. No, 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 wait a second. You knew she wasn't dying? You knew about this? She was pulling the death card. We gotta go. I stayed with Trevor for the two weeks after my surgery. He gave me round-the-clock care. I owe Trevor my life. Well, she didn't want to get it in Des Moines, so she got the best Manhattan has to offer. Lucy, well, why all the stories? Why don't you just tell us the truth? What stories? Honey, you said you were dying. I'm sorry. I never said I was dying. I told you that I didn't have much time. You were crying. When did crying become fatal? OK, I'll bite. Not much time for what? Until I reach my goal weight. I have four more pounds to lose, and I intend to do it with all of you here. Un. Fucking believable, Lucy. Well, I've always heard those surgeries are dangerous. Being obese is what's dangerous, Becky. No, she didn't. Mary and I may have a little extra baby weight, but no one here is obese. Shouldn't your kid be in college by now? 
She never said that you were obese. And I never said I had any baby weight to lose either, Becky. That is not what I meant, Becky. I love you. And Mary, I hope that we can grow to love each other too one day. But more than anything, I love our memories. Those memories are what gave me the strength to have the surgery in the first place. I mean, over the years, whenever I was unhappy, which is a lot of the time, I would go back and I would look at all of our old pictures. And I mean, I was unhappy, you know, in a lot of those pictures too, but at least I remembered having hope. And then, and then when we all split apart, it was like that hope split apart too. And without all of you guys around, I just, I didn't care anymore. And I just, I just kept getting bigger and bigger. And then, and now I'm, I'm getting smaller and smaller. And in a way, when the last four pounds are gone, the old me will die, and I'll be surrounded by all of you, and the cycle will be complete. Here, here. Could it get any fucking better than this? Come on, George. You know what, Lucy? Oprah lives in my building. Next homeowners meeting, I'm gonna tell her about you. She couldn't write this shit if she tried. Jesus, George. We all know Oprah lives in your building, okay? We also know how much money you make and, and, and how many girls you sleep with. <laughs> you know what, Lucy? You know what the best part about you getting skinny all of a sudden is? You don't have to be a fag hag anymore. great that you have lost all this weight? Almost all. Yeah. Okay. Here's the situation. I think if you would have been up front with all of us, we could have found a better time to come. Ray, there never is a better time. Lucy, I'm really proud of you. I am so proud of you. <sighs> but I can't stay. Like it's just it, it's just a real tough time for all of us, for me and, and George and Austin and Becky. I mean, it's you know, it's it's life crap. But Trevor's here, right? Ray, how long have we all known each other? Well, in all that time, from way back then up until now, have I asked you to do anything, any of you, ever? Please stay. Please. How about a little nightcap? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I love motherfucking three. Thank you. Mm. Fed my bitch a blade is my favorite. Ooh, and I set that shit on repeat on my nano. I could walk the treadmill for days. Talented guys. Mm -hmm. Ray don't like me listening to hip hop. He says it makes black people look bad. Hip hop makes black people look Heard it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Since we've been married, the only black thing he's let us do is go listen to Bill Cosby tell his tired ass jokes down at the Lincoln Center. I had to put on a ball gown. 
<laughs> it's no night at the Apollo, huh? Mm. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that Albert is dead. You know what I'm saying? Even I will. <laughs> Bring on motherfucking three. Well, you're never gonna come around to motherfucking three. <laughs> but you know, he used to only date white women, so you never know. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I know all about Ray tapping the milkweed. But if he now wants Condoleezza Rice, he should have married her ass. <laughs> you make me wake my Turn that shit off. <sighs> Time to go, everybody! What the hell, Lucy? Come on! Come on, everybody! Grab backpacks and go get dressed! What the fuck? Lucy's planned a four day hiking trip for us. Uh uh. You can count me out, Miss Skinny Thing. My ass is staying right here. Did you say four days? Come on, you guys, it'll be fun. Uh, where, where are we gonna sleep? Under the stars. Um, black people haven't been camping since the Underground Railroad, and you ain't Harriet Tubman. Okay, now look, why are you gonna go? What? What, you wanna be here with me or out there with the bugs? It don't matter. Y'all gotta go. Got a new group coming in at noon. Bus leaves in 20. But we don't have clothes for this. What's the matter? You don't have a sweater with campfires and tents all over it? I've taken care of everything. I got these especially for you, Congressman. Motherfucking three? Oh, no, no. I can't wear this. I am not going to wear this. Yes, you will. <laughs> Trevor. Look at this. Bed my bitch, lady. Son, the only signals out here are from God. Just keep heading east. Only one trail. Got about eight miles a day ahead of you. Is that a relatively flat eight, or should I expect much of a grade? Great. How about not get you a big old gold star when you're done? <laughs> it's up and down. Third night, you'll be bunking in Bighorn. Be sure and check under the cot field. Don't want any critters to get frisky with you. Critters? Critters? Um, do you mean bug critters or critter critters? Mice and such. Maybe a snake or two. You be long friends with the bugs, time and you make bighorn. Sam, now, were there be call boxes along the way? Becky, it's the wilderness, not the Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> it's a valid question. I, I have a baby, Austin. You know, what if there's an emergency? How old is that kid now, anyway? That kid's name is Thurman. Well, that's really gonna help him with the ladies. <laughs> and he's 54 months. That's four and a half in human years. Go to hell, George. It's okay, honey. He counts for a living. <laughs> you know, not sign up to be part of the Donner Party. Do you think about anyone else's circumstances before you drug us all out here? You guys, we're gonna have a great time. I promise. Okay? If y'all ain't at pickup by Tuesday, we'll come looking for you. What a perfectly antiquated rescue system. We all feel much better now, thank you. Well, we try. I'm proud of you. Waiting someday. Ah! Ah! 
It's not funny, Trevor. But she's the one who was screwing the boy band. Doesn't matter. She could have been fucking anybody from Sting to John Tesh. But if you want custody without the courts, you gotta pay up. So how's little Trev doing? I would have paid whatever. So tell me, Ray, hmm? how'd you ever bear living with George? Oh, yeah, it was me, Austin, Trevor, and George. That assemblage of men takes the term motley crew to a whole new level. Oh, hang on one second. You know, George, it's like having a puppy around, you know? You deal with the chewed up shoes and the constant yelping and piles of shit everywhere. Because you hope in the end, a loyal dog will emerge. But instead, you got Clifford the big red asshole. Hey, come on. George isn't so bad. Sure, deep down, there's a good heart in there somewhere. Besides, every group of friends has their own George, right? Georges don't change, and we're stuck to them with this glue of, of history and secrets, you know? Kind of like politicians. Ooh, touche. Why couldn't Lucy just swim off the last four pounds? <laughs> like in Hawaii. Doesn't a poolside daiquiri sound good right about now with a grilled cheese? <laughs> Why are you tripping? Oh, he don't know you smoke. <laughs> no need to explain. Why do you think I keep my Zoloft in a Pez dispenser? <laughs> A government check is the only antidepressant accepted in the black community. <laughs> you want some? Ooh. Funny thing is, I just started six months ago. I always hated cigarettes. But um, I work with this teacher, Nancy, and she's been you know, trying to quit using those little nicotine gums. And she left one in the teacher's lounge. I walked in, saw it, and popped it in my mouth. And, and I got about 10 minutes into earth science and I caught such a buzz. <laughs> oh, and let me tell you, that's the only way to get through sedimentary rock, but... <laughs> that gum is $40 a box. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Damn cigarettes cost less than the gum. Well, what they don't know, it won't hurt them. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss, huh? Mm. Ignorant men, you blissful women. <laughs> so, how long have you and Richard been married? Oh, 12 years now. Mm. Yeah, I met him right after college. He was the principal at the first school I interned at. He just lost his wife in a car accident. Oh, shit. He already had his PhD, and I had my undergrad, and we were pretty anxious to start a family. Same old crackers for 12 years? <laughs> shit, girl, Ray and I just hit two, and I'm already having problems passing up a new bag of goldfish, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> How is that little boy of yours? Thank you for the day gown. It was real cute. Did you get Ray's note? Because he wanted to write all y'all himself. Mm -hmm. I did. So sweet. Yeah. So tell me, after the baby, did uh, your weight gain cause problems in the old sex department? I don't really want to talk about that. <laughs> well, it did with us. And thank God it did, because Ray, who got too big? <laughs> Sure, you not. Girl, if it don't fit, you must have quit. <laughs> oh, you fucking douchebag. <laughs> when you guys carry the wine for a while. You're so sweaty. Come on, chicken or fish, switch with me. Just to have it here under my feet, sweet little baby. Hurry up! I've me. got a surprise for everybody. Please, like God, let it be a helicopter. Say cheese! Isn't it incredible? I knew it would be beautiful, but not like this. Just like the fucking box of a jigsaw puzzle. Hey guys, guys, come here! Come here, come here! Hurry up! 
Wow, wow. That, damn. Who gets the blue ribbon? Did you shit that out of your old ass, Richard? Probably a moose, bison, or bear. A bear? You don't say shit about any bears. But bugs don't seem so bad now. Ooh! Well, hello there, old friend. Do you remember me? We met at that REM concert in 95. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's just say before the concert, I threw a proper tea party. <laughs> and then I made out with your wife. No, we, we all did. What are they talking about? They're kidding. They're the kidding. I didn't make out with her. Yeah, yeah, but she could have. Hey. See, Richard, before you turned Becky into a Miss Doubtfire, we used to know her as Thumper back in the day. Somebody get some water over a fire. Okay. I'll get some water. No, 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 hold on. What are we going to do about dinner? I'm drinking mine. Me too. Ooh, me too. The only mushrooms I ever had before were on a large pizza. OK. <laughs> Come on. Right. Um, to Papa. Damn, Lucy, we walking to Boston for this tea party. <gasps> Come on, Mary. Just a little further. I know the perfect spot. How long does it take? Never know, but this should be subtle. <laughs> That's what you said back in 95. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Thumper, take a sip. I want my kiss later. My wife doesn't take drugs, George. Well, mine either. Except I don't know where my wife is right now. Don't worry, Ray. I didn't see any C-SPAN trucks parked around here. So tell me, Lucy, why Montana? Why drag us all the way out here for your little psychedelic ode to REM? Oh, dude, please, take a sip of this for all our sakes, will you? My family came to the lodge every summer, and every summer they would go on the exact same hike that we're on right now. But I always had to stay behind because they didn't think I could make it, so for these same three days, I would just sit in the lodge with Sam, and we would, we would roast hot dogs and play checkers, and I would always promise myself that the next summer I would lose weight so that I could go on the hike, but then I just, I just got bigger and bigger, and, well, I'm here now. So he gave a fat child hot dogs? <laughs> we'll keep the pot hot for you, Becky. That's <laughs> real mature. <laughs> um, when's the part we start having fun? <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be, girl. If something good comes from all this, then... Oh, shit. There she is. Sister Jingle's knocking at my door! <laughs> <laughs> oh, me too, I think. I feel like you do when you, you finally get to pee after holding it in for a long time, is that it? Yeah, but she don't pee. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, wait, okay. Everybody stand up and follow me. This, this ground's feeling so good. Can we just sit here, please? I have a surprise. We've had enough of your surprises, Lucy, please. It's warm! Girl, my ass and feet are in love with you right now. Uh -huh. Hey, get ready to see some sushi-grade cock, lady. No way. Does that fit in the hand roll, George? <laughs> this one is. Here's a tent oh, with George. <laughs> All right, let's go set up the tent. You go set up the tent. Mary? You think I'm sleeping with George? Mary, I am warning you. Close your eyes, boys. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Either get in the water or leave. I am not getting in the water. Oh, oh yeah. Hot, 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 hot. Yo, Trev, come on, get in the water there, pussy boy. Trev, oh. sure, come on, it feels great. <sighs> they had to remove a little excess skin. Well, damn. How much skin can he take off? You think he can take somebody? <laughs> You've no idea. <laughs> you 
skinny bitch. You're beautiful. Own that shit. Thank you. All right, boys, we coming in. Close your eyes. Come on, Lucy, I saved you a seat. Slide by me, Mary. Come on. Hey, Trav, come on, get your ass in here. Fuck. Wow. He's just a baby. Fuck you, George. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. George, I'm going to kill you. Hey, long the works, Chicken Little. Oh. <laughs> Where have you been? Just walking around. Did you do a lot of drugs in college? No, Richard. Mm -mm. I don't like your friends. I know. I'm sorry. It's just been so long since we've all been together. I think bending our footing isn't easy. Did you fuck any of them, Thumper? Because I'd really like to know. No. Richard, I told you that's just a stupid, baseless nickname that got out of control and stuck. You're the only man I've ever been with. Not now, Becky. Honey, you've read Atlas Shrugged like five times. It's a classic. No, it's a prop. Do you want one of the Viagra? I brought them with us. Viagra aids in erection, not desire. You need desire to get an erection. Read the label. Do you even remember the last time we had sex? Your birthday. Exactly, that was in June. Don't worry, Christmas is just around the corner. I'm trying very, very hard, Richard. I'm going to find everybody else. Do you want to come with me? No. Marco. Marco. <laughs> oh, oh, he smells asparagus. <laughs> What was that for? That's because you're an asshole. <laughs> 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 How are you feeling? After a 12 year high, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> 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 hey, what is that? Me. What? <laughs> I almost said that shit. Did you burn it? I had the remains of my surgery cremated and these are the ashes. Oh, Jesus. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked. Try being the asshole calling all over Manhattan looking for someone to cremate his stomach. <laughs> I've been spreading them 
a little bit along the trail and I'd like to sprinkle a little in here. Here where? In here with you guys. In the water? Yes. Now, I don't want to be sitting in no damn burnt up stomach water. <laughs> there went my buzz. <laughs> oh my god, it is so much fun. <laughs> we gotta beat the sun. No, no, no that's not your ride. No, we can't. We have eight miles today. <laughs> If you come sleep in my tent, I don't want to be alone. Shut up. <laughs> it's your trip. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> Good night. Skinny bitch. So did you see those nips on Mary? <laughs> I mean, like, we could have tossed a game of horseshoes. Oh man, the sun's coming up. Ah, I love it when the sun and the moon are in the sky together. Aren't they always in the sky together? Come on, George. Where? Come over here. Lay your head back. See you now? Oh, yeah. It's nice. God, it's so beautiful. It's like a celestial changing in the guards. You and I are the only two people getting to see it. Man. God, look at the stars. You know, we don't we don't have stars in LA. I mean we have them, but you can't see them. I like the moon. Well, I like the sun, I think. I think I, but then you can't have the moon without the sun because the sun's going to light up the moon anyway, so it's like, I guess I got to like them both. You can't really do that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, maybe I like the sun. <laughs> You don't have to. You don't have to go, George. Come on, George. Holy shit! I like mine well scrambled. Yeah, me too. You got any creamer for that? This is Jamaican Blue Mountain. Cream and sugar would be sinful. Why well, I didn't ask for sugar. So, Ray, how's the Senate run shaping up? Well, the, the polls look pretty good, but, you know, that could all change. Well, your constituents ought to be eternally grateful for what you've done within the African-American community. You know, soon after your first election, I fell asleep on the couch watching CNN. I heard this passionate plea calling for the regulation of the recording industry. Uh -huh. A truly compelling case, exposing the evils of certain lyrics and what they do to the minds of our youth. See, Becky and I serve the public school system. Of course you do. Well, uh, the bill died, but uh, thank you, Rich. It was you behind the podium, Ray. Right. No, no. What I'm saying is that I could have blindly listened to your voice for hours and never known the difference. What difference? Well, I mean, it was you. It could have been any number of representatives behind that podium. Oh, yes. You mean white representatives. I'm just saying, well done. Thank you. I think I saw some cream around here. I'll go get it. I'm starving. Oh, well, we need to skip dinner. Morning, morning. Oh, it smells good. Oh, coffee, coffee. Coffee, thank God. No, that's that's Richard's coffee. I'll, I'll make you another pot. Is he going to drink the whole pot? No. No, he's not. You know what? Do you want some coffee? Yeah, does everybody want some coffee? Uh, you overcooked the eggs, baby. 
You know what? Those eggs are for Richard and me. And so is the coffee, by the way. Good morning to you two, asshole. We agreed to be on the trail at 7, and that's when I planned to leave. Well, you could have woken me up, right? You know what? I tried, Mary. So have fun breaking down the tent. So you'll share your coffee with Ray? Seriously, it's just coffee, you guys. Oh, it's Jamaican Blue Mountain. And it's so special. Welcome to Cafe Passive Aggressive. You know what, Trevor? It was you and your little party that made you late. That is not our fault. Mmm. These eggs are good, baby. God damn it, Mary. My eggs! Stop it! Fuck you, Ray! All of you! You're ruining my fucking trip! Come on, Richard. I tell you what I'm gonna do with that tent, I'm gonna throw it in the fire. Hey guys, wait up. Did I make a big mistake? Lucy, look at yourself. You're you're beautiful. What? You, you, you look at you. Yeah, I heard you the first time. I, just, <laughs> I mean, was the hike a big mistake? Oh, it was manipulating us for your own selfish reasons a mistake? I just wanted to walk with everybody, you know, together like I had imagined. So you had the surgery for a, a three-day hike? No, I did it so I could get laid. What I really, really would like to do is fuck. <sighs> Join the club. I'm a virgin here. No, you're not. Yes, I am. What about George? It never happened. Come on. I denied it because I was embarrassed. I don't know. You're serious. What? Being a virgin is nothing to be embarrassed about. Oh, bullshit. I mean, I could have had sex plenty of times, but I was just never comfortable enough to get naked and then... You know, having slept with George just seemed less pitiful than being a fat ass virgin. Holy shit. I've never told anybody that before. <laughs> I'm not gonna say a word. My shrink was right, that feels good. So no more secrets? No more secrets. So you're just gonna leave me hanging here or what? What? Well, I just told you my big, deep, dark secret, so you have to tell me yours. Fair enough. <clears throat> okay. Oh, this is awful. You, you can't. You can't tell anyone. I won't. No, I could lose my job. Oh God, just spill it. I had sex with a passenger on an overnight to Rome. No way. It, well, it was just a blowjob in the galley. Just a blow. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll. Spare you the presidential semantics, but it was one of the most horrible. Also, it was one of the hottest things I've ever done in my life. Oh my god! So how did you pull that off? Who was he? What was this? What was his story? He. Oh my god! It's cool. Whatever. Who was he? Her name was Susan. She sat in 4F and she sucked the cum. Okay. Okay. That is totally cool. Listen, if you ever feel like you want to really talk about it, then, you know, I'm here to listen. Okay? When, 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 we, when we landed, I fucked the shit out of her. I know. I know you did. I know you did. I'm just going to go up the trail. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. How long are you planning on ignoring me? I don't know, Mary. I... We had fun last night, Ray. Well, I didn't. You could have. You chose not to. You always choose not to. That's not my fault. Because it's never your fucking fault. Why are you always sweating a little stuff? Sweating? No, no, I'm not sweating, Mary. I'm upset. I want my wife to act like a lady. I don't want her taking drugs or taking her clothes off. I mean, Jesus. You know what, Mary? You have a responsibility to this marriage. 
You have a responsibility to my career. I mean, all of this child and girl and peeps. I mean, come on, enough with the fucking abonic shit, Mary. Guess what, Ray? You're black. We're black. That's how black people talk. I swear, I don't even know you anymore, Mary. Those words and phrases that you hate so much have done more for the races than you and your motherfucking peeps in Washington ever did. You want to know me? You want to you know, you know who I am? Well, here, listen to this. That's who I am. Hey, George. George, wait up. Wait, wait up a second. Hey. Oh, how you feeling today? <laughs> oh, okay, I'm just trying to sweat this stuff out, you know? Mm hmm Yeah. I don't know when I've ever been so fucked up. <laughs> sure it's beautiful up here, huh? Yeah. Listen, George, uh, I don't want you to feel weird about what happened, okay? <laughs> what are you talking about? Last night in the hot springs, like I said, I've never been quite so fucked up in my whole life. Okay, um, before you go into some story about how the mushrooms made you do some things you otherwise wouldn't do, I'm gonna stop you. What are you talking about? Don't ruin the only real moment we probably ever had between us. What? I'm not gonna tell anyone, and I don't care. Okay, we're friends and and we're cool. Hey, you trying to include me in your little bad fantasy? It's not cool. Fuck you. spot to make camp. What do you guys think? Should I get dinner started? I can make spaghetti. I make a mean red sauce. Sounds good to me. You got any garlic bread? Oh. All right, spaghetti it is. Who wants to go uh, help me get some wood? George? All right. Oh, thank you, Becky. It'll be great. Okay, please. Look, it just, just shakes out. I, I it know what out. it does. I'm aware of the shaking. Be careful. I got it. There's a lot of bees in here. I don't want you to disturb us, though. Ooh. It's not a contest. No, I... I think it was a contest. <laughs> Ooh, I thought it was a bee. Don't move, George. Just stay perfectly still. Don't fucking move. What? Sorry about that. That tent fella would not go down. I juiced him three times and he still went for two miles. What are we supposed to do now? If I were you, I'd uh, pick your buddy up and move down the trail a couple miles. Hey, George, come on. Get the fuck no. off me. George, I'm trying to help you up. Come on, Get the help fuck me. off me. Fine, help yourself up. 
This is so great. I mean, come on, it's September and I'm tasting snow. Come on, Becky, open your mouth. I swear it almost tastes sweet. I'm more concerned about getting to wherever it is you're taking us. What's for dinner? Um, I have some cereal, or I think I have some fruit in my pack. You guys are welcome to it. Whoa, 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 whoa. what happened to spaghetti? Fuck! It's dark, guys. I can't be hungry in the dark. You better have an emergency plan. There's no emergency. Uh, how about Mayday to Chili? Miss Lane, you invited us on this little field trip, so you better be airlifting some ribs up in here. Ain't that right, Trim? Come on, Mary, let's just eat light. And we'll have a big breakfast in the morning, okay? Whoa, wait, eat light? Miracles do happen, you guys. Lucy just said, eat light. <laughs> it was a joke, come on. You said we can make jokes. Great. It's me, I'm sorry. Faggot. So cold. I'm definitely not looking to have any more kids, Ray. Well, maybe we should be airlifting you an electric blanket up in here with them ribs. Shoot, throwing some grape Kool-Aid. Ooh, honey child. Ooh, babe. You know what I'm talking about, B.I. <laughs> not half bad. Yeah. Well, it wasn't meant to be funny, Mary. That's how you sound. How I sound? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. How I'm sound? Okay. No, 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 go ahead. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, now, Ray. Not now, now, Mary. now. Oh, maybe I should go out there and tell your friends about the real black man I married. Okay. You know what? Why don't you just go to sleep? The man who came way down Capitol Hill one night and started sending this girl cheap champagne, got a good and drunk too and told her his name was Twan. That is my name. Who knows that, Ray, other than me, you, and your mama? But Big Dick Twan didn't think that this ghetto girl could have possibly have gone to college. And he definitely didn't think she wanted to have his baby. No, the Senate hopeful wasn't thinking about his career that night, was he? All right, shut up, Mary. I do hope the fall election comes out in your favor, Congressman Twan. Just so you know. I won't be there. Hey, no share an apple? No, thanks. Mind if I join you for a second? I'm really tired, so. Well, I'm really sorry. Forget it, could you just go? No, it wasn't sensitive, and I shouldn't have said it. Well, I've developed a thick skin over the years. People like you and me have to. I'm glad you're getting happy, Lucy. That's all I want to I don't to know what do. the point of this trip was. I'm so stupid. There's a lot you don't understand. Fuck off, Austin, okay? You and the six other emotional disasters out there. Coming from the Virgin. We didn't make you fat, Lucy. Get out of my tent. Now. Uh, Mary, 
What's going on? My tent got way too crowded, Trevor. Just go to sleep. Here, get in. Where are you going? Uh, you're welcome to stay here. But I'm going to go stay with George or Lucy. I could have joined George or Lucy. But I came in here instead. We can't do this. Do what? We're just going to sleep, Trevor. There ain't no way in hell we're going to get any sleep. And I'm glad we're in agreement. Take your pants off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I appreciate you in ways you never know. A lot of things, dude. She's gone. I woke up and all the shit was gone. Did she leave a note or anything? Nope. Did she wake any of you? So was uh, Mary with her? No. See how it is. No, you don't, Ray. Lucy! Lucy! What? Lucy! What do you see, Ray? Tell me what you see. Lucy! This is bullshit. Oh, but it is. I know it is. You don't have to tell me, Ray. I know it's bullshit. Still no sign of Lucy. Fuck her. What? She's an attention served cunt, if you ask me. You don't mean that. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm constipated. My shins hurt. I mean, what the fuck are we doing here, anyway? Hey. Come on, now. I miss my son, Thurman. You know, I didn't expect to be out of touch this long. I really got how happy he made me. You know, I... I've never been apart from my son, okay? It's cool. No, it's not cool. Because every time I bring it up, you all give me shit for it. And then I have to go home and hear the same thing again from Richard, so it's not okay. Listen. If you tell anybody about this, I'm going to have to kill you. I had a conference call this morning. That's why I was up so early making breakfast. How do you get a signal? And one that's much smaller than this. It's not a cell. It's a satellite phone. Emma Free gave it to me. We got a lot of shit going on right now. Can I use it? No, Becky. I thought I'd show you a telephone and then not let you use it. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when we stop for lunch, you just go off somewhere and call your little boy. I talked to little Trev this morning. Feel better?
I miss you so much, baby. No, he's around. No. <laughs> the phone's the secret, silly. <gasps> Why don't you tell me how much you miss me? Because I want to hear you say it. No. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm in the woods. Okay. You go first. You unzip your pants. Will you bump it up against the phone? Yeah, I want to hear him. Because I miss him. <laughs> I, I hear him. Hello. I miss you. <laughs> okay. What do you want me to do? Okay. It's going in. <laughs> okay. Say hello to her. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm very, very hot. <laughs> the fuck, Trevor? <laughs> what the fuck, Becky? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Pants. Nothing. Have you been chasing rabbits, Trevor? Did he catch any? Thumper! That's my wife, asshole! Hey, bro, you don't understand. I snuck off to use the phone and I, I bumped into Becky who was trying to go to the bathroom. I, I surprised her. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I just, I got scared. I was embarrassed and I was going to the bathroom. Well, wait, you've had a working phone this whole time. <laughs> God damn it, Trevor. I gotta call the office. Let me use it. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what to say. Well, as long as that wasn't your son on the phone, you don't have to say anything at all. No, I had called, I would okay. I had called Thurman first and I made a second call. I made a call after that call. I mean, I'm having an affair. I don't need to hear this. He's a football coach in my school. There, I said it. I'm deaf. Oh, God. I'm awful, right? Yeah. I'm awful. Oh, my God. Becky. <sighs> Richard's a dick. He wasn't always like that, though. Yeah, but he is now. And you're human. Look. I'm glad you still got it in you. Come on, fucking around comes from either selfishness or loneliness, and you're far from selfish. Thank you. I know Sheila put you through a lot. No, you don't. Look, Sheila was a selfish bitch, and she fucked around on me. But, well, she left me because my dick was too small. Trevor, I'm sure that wasn't it. She put it in the goddamn divorce papers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and the worst part? The judge was a woman, as was the bailiff. But when the dust settled, I realized that adultery is a 50-50 fuck up. Don't forget that. What do I do, Trevor? Well, for starters, you could have your football coach buy me a new phone. This has to be.
to be it. L Lucy, you in there? No, she better be in there. There better be a toilet in there, too. Welcome to Bighorn. That was really inconsiderate leaving like that this morning. You could have told somebody. I found some beautiful wild greens this morning, so I made a terrific dressing. Would anyone object if I tossed the salad? Uh, do you have any ranch or Thousand Island? No, just what I made. Well, why'd you ask? Smells good. What's cooking? Spaghetti? Do you need any help? No, just help yourself to some wine. Everyone get comfortable. I've taken care of everything. Sounds good to me. Who wants a drink? This place is Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Can I do anything or? No, just go get some wine. How is everything? The sauce is delicious. Thank you. There's plenty more. Here's to Lucy. No. No, allow me. I'd like to raise my glass to all of you. For years, you all set the standard for what I dreamed to look like, act like, and be one day. All I ever wanted was to be like one of you. But now I realize that if that dream came true, I could never be happy because I would be nothing but a self-loathing person who's undersexed, racist, misogynistic, homophobic, a dormant slut, and a ghetto fabulous fat ass. Excuse me? You got a lot of nerve, Lucy. You bitch, we only came here for you. No, you showed up. But now I'm the one who's finally getting happy and I'm surrounded by a bunch of miserable losers. You should have chosen suicide over surgery. And if becoming any of you is what it means to finally have sex, then I'll gladly die a virgin. He lied. Obviously. Well, if this is what it means to have you skinny, we'd rather have you put your fat coat back on. Ridiculous. What are you up to? When did you do all this? After everybody went to bed. Come on. This is very sweet, but I'm okay. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. I'm really sorry about everything that I said. You don't have to prove anything to me. Ever, okay? I know. Wait, is this some kind of like a mercy fuck? I mean, is that what this... Yes, it is, and I am begging you, please have mercy on me. You got me close, really. I got the 
Um, okay. 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 Oh. No. No. Okay. 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 Hit me like that again. Okay. When we get to the bus, we're there. Oh, thank God, we're getting back on the school bus. Now we can really be comfortable again. Where's there? It's the pickup spot, dude. Relax. No, you relax. The word relax and this three-day clusterfuck don't actually go together. Hey, let us go, let us see where we've gone today. Another divide and we separate every time. Hey, how was the hike, George? It was good, Sam. Thanks. Good, Sam. Sorry about um, the other day. What? In the hot springs, the way I acted. It's okay. You know my my dad's sick, right? No, I didn't know that. Hey, you know I would have said no, something. It's okay. It's, it's it's okay. I'm I'm sorry. I know what he means to you. Yeah, well, um, anyway, once he dies, it'll be easier. He's in a lot of pain. That's not what I'm talking about. I shouldn't push you down. Is your offer still good? Keeping uh keeping it between us? Of course. I never thought four pounds would weigh so much.
You're all right. <laughs> Richard. Why, is everyone okay? Damn it. All right, listen up. Is anyone seriously hurt? Broken bones, contusions, how's everyone's breathing? Richard! Come back here, Richard needs help. It's okay, Trevor. We're okay. <laughs> Becky, don't move him. You gotta keep him perfectly still. My fault, everyone's hurt. <laughs> no, 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 we're hurt because there was a dead man driving the bus. We're gonna get you out of here. Well, one of you needs to go for help. I'll go. Just take care of Trevor. <laughs> yeah, I can. Oh, oh, I can feel my legs. Yeah. Uh, so like, oh. I'm all right. I'm okay. You okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. We're okay. We're okay. Where's George? George! George! You alright? You okay? Alright, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Trevor. You were all living your own lives, minding your own business until I brought you here. I know about Coach Merriweather. I've known since day one. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I haven't done things well. I'll do it better next time around. Just love you, Thumper. Richard? 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 I was now the thin girl in a group of very pretty people, but I felt like the ugliest of them all. But then life went on, like it always does. And our lives got better, even easier. Because all our fear died on the bus that day. Even George's. Hey, there's uh, hot dogs if anybody wants one. Ooh, you don't have to tell me twice, coach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are y'all coming? 
will be a minute. You ready? Yeah. We should put all our shit in Tupperware. <laughs> Senator Dennis? Yes? Congratulations on the election. Thank you. Quite a nail biter. Yeah. <laughs> Is the seat taken? Oh, uh, uh, no, no. Absolutely not. Thank you. Please. Champagne? Oh. Well. Cheers. Good. I'm Suzanne. Listen, I'm, well, you know, you know who I am because you did the... Yes, I do. Cheers. Cheers. Do you, um, you live in D.C.? Chevy Chase. Close enough. Yes, it is. I'm on a plane to leave, hanging in the air between me. My heart is. Come on, Susan. Susan, Susan, Like you're hiding me crying It takes you so long To cry And closes more than it opens inside When it's all crashing in around you And no one wants to see you win Just like you, I bleed. Sometimes it hurts so bad I can't even breathe. But you cannot say no. You can carry it away on your own. I'll stay up and hold you all.
through the rain.